Hi everyone, I'm Steve Place, and welcome to another edition of Nonprofit Spotlight. As you know, Nonprofit Spotlight is a production of the Volunteer Advisory Committee here at Community Television. And every edition, uh, we highlight a nonprofit doing wonderful, wonderful work in uh, Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz County. And we are really, really delighted to have with us Steve Anderson, who is the CEO of, of uh, now it's Here See Play. That's right. Hey, Hi, Steve. I got it right. Here's C Play, uh, and he'll tell you much more about that. But uh, this is a concept that, uh, again, uh, the Volunteer Advisory Committee and uh, CTV and myself are really delighted to give this as much exposure in the community as possible because it is such a wonderful concept. So, so Steve, welcome to CTV and Nonprofit Spotlight. Well, thank you, Steve, and great, great to uh, to appear with you. I, I really appreciate you guys taking the time. Uh, so you know, this is a whole, whole new concept that, that I started after I had my stroke and lost my eyesight. I, I'm, I'm really a, a legally blind and uh, only see three to five percent in a funnel. So like a cone after I had a bad stroke. And, and I tried to start to play the piano and was having trouble with my right hand playing Mozart, and my left hand playing chopstick. So I, I searched uh, out all over the, the uh, both Santa Cruz area, Monterey area, San Jose area, and I couldn't find anyone who really kind of embraced uh, us with disabilities to get more abilities uh, in music. So, so I started this nonprofit called Hear, See, Play. And, and I thought, you know, I'll just start to reach out to musicians and see if they want to join us and join me in, in really allowing uh, musicians with or without disabilities to participate in free live music events. And I started on my deck. Oh, and um, um, we've, we've now have moved to the VFW Hall on 7th Street there in Santa Cruz. And we do a show, live show every two weeks uh, featuring local musicians uh, and, and people that you see all the time, John Michael, Nomad, many, uh, Ted Walty, many others, as well as every once in a while, I, I know that someone uh, from is in the area that will come and play with us, uh, you know, and, and, and join us. So, so we really do a live music event every two weeks on a Sunday afternoon, two to five free at the uh, VFW Hall at, here in Santa Cruz. Well, that's terrific, you know, and uh, Steve, this resonates on so many different levels uh, with me. Uh, I was a guitar player back in the day, but never really put much uh, uh, time or energy into being good, and I wanted to always play uh, a keyboard instrument, so now I'm currently be a piano student, because so I just love the idea of, of highlighting uh, music, particularly for people uh, with disabilities, and I will say that, that I've had the great pleasure of hosting, co-hosting a couple of events at the Veterans Memorial Building here in town and you couldn't ask for a better collaborative partner than the folks over there at the veterans memorial building so so a shout out to them and uh, as we were mentioned earlier this is an evergreen program so we'll put it on our playlist uh, very shortly but it'll play kind of around the year so we can talk generally about kind of the concept uh, uh what what's your what's your you're providing to the community and what you're providing to the to the disabled community as well. I, again, we're delighted to have you here to be able to kind of kind of uh, flesh out this program and and let the community know about it. Uh, here see play now.org, I'll hasten to say, is your website. And people can go on there, they can donate, they can volunteer. I'll mention that a couple more times and we'll certainly have something running uh, uh, on the video to let people remind the people of that. But, uh, but tell us more about this. Uh, you, I, you, you started you know, your personal experience and kind of how this program kind of grew out, out of that. Sure, yeah, I, I'm from the Midwest and uh, um, I, I got lucky and, and started in rock and roll when I was 16. I'm 69 now, so over 50 years ago. And uh, after I realized that I wasn't going to be Mick Jagger, uh, <laughs> I started managing bands and, 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 supporting, and, and, and supporting a couple of teen centers in the area of central Illinois. And one of the bands that I got real close with was REO Speedwagon. I, oh, I, I was their first really business manager and helped Irving and Bob Nutt get the uh, organization, get the get the group started, and and growing. Uh, so I, 
I, I've been in love with music, live music all my life from all the way back in, in the symphony days of when I was eight years old with my grandmother taking me to, to Chicago to the symphony. But you know, when, when I had my stroke three years ago, I, I was surprised that I, the only thing I could do was go to some of these great venues we've got, as you know, in Santa Cruz, the area, and, and kind of stand there and watch and hope that someone would ask me to, uh, to maybe, maybe jump in and sing a song with them or whatever. So, so I came up with this idea uh, called Here's See Play, and, and it's really an engagement where, where we really look at three things. Empowerment. You, know, you tr try to empower yourself to, to, to get up on a stage or just to stand there and dance and, and to be part of the show. So, second is we want to enrich your life and enrich everybody else's life. As you know, as, as a, a, a musician, Steve, it's great when you've got other people smiling at you and whether they're just uh, boogie-looing along or they're, uh, they're using the cymbals or they've got a little uh, uh, something they're tapping with. Anytime you got people that are participating in live music, it's a magical thing. And, 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 then, and then third, and I think kind of all-encompassing, is music is our universal language. It makes us happy. Whatever kind of music you like is the kind of music that I like and like and other people like. And we just want to really make sure that anyone that has a disability has the ability to, to be a part of a community that thinks the same way, music as our driver and happiness in life. You know, music is really such a great gift, uh, as you're pointing out, and, and I will again hasten to say, that REO Speedwagon is one of my favorite groups and Keep On Rolling is, is one of my top five or six rock and roll songs of all time. I just love that song that they well, do. Great. And uh, so, and I'm, I'm happy to hear that I think they're still, you know, touring and playing. So uh, that's one. Well, two, two of the, uh, one original and one, one that came in and left and, and has been to the group for a long time, Kevin Cronin. They, they, they've been touring for years and they're, they were just recently in the area. So I, I, I advise you to go see them if, if they're around, as well as other groups that I know really well. Sticks was here just not too long ago. Sticks puts on a great show still. So again, you know, you're, you're just, you know, identifying all my favorites. I just love this. But anyway, uh, uh, Steve, uh, this really is such a great gift that you are. Uh, instrumental really if i may use that term in 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 in, in gifting to people who are who are disabled and who still want to make that music you know it's so uh evocative you know it's so engaging so i know that the work you do must be very gratifying well, well we're, again we're very lucky as you know to be in in a in a really a music mecca of of the world not just the united states not just of california but we, we have a lot of great musicians that live here, that, that come here and visit, that come here and play. And uh, it, it's, it's just what I really want to do the rest of my life. So, so this, this 501c3 nonprofit called Here's C Play and our website, hearsceplaynow.org, is where you, can, where you can find out what we're doing, what our schedule is, and uh, certainly donate or join. I'm always looking for volunteers people that want to uh, do anything from, from help us uh, set up to tear down, to uh, uh, find bands, find musicians, to uh, later we'll, we'll do a great fundraising. And certainly I want to put on one or two times a year uh, professional workshops where uh, musicians, uh, again, with or without, whatever you, whatever you where you're at, you can learn from the masters. And I know a lot of people over the years. I mean, I really have a great uh, Rolodex of, of good, good musician friends from all over in, in various genres. So, so I'm very hopeful that, uh, that people will start to join our organization. Well, we're lucky, uh, Stephen, to live in, a, in an area that uh, not only has so many great musicians, 
but also so many great musician community members, you know, who want to give of their talent and time to be able to be part of this particular program. So uh, uh, tell us what uh, a volunteer could expect if somebody wanted to, you know, go to the website and, uh, and volunteer some of their time. Um, kind of, would they be at the Veterans Memorial Building with you? Would they be out in the community? Uh, kind of, what would they expect in terms of being able to engage? Well, whatever they want to volunteer, but certainly we'd love to have them first come and join an event. As we, as I said, we hold them every two weeks. I'll, I'll read the schedule later. You can get the schedule online too. So come and come and meet me and, and come and join. And and then we'll see what you want to do. You know, may, may, maybe maybe you want to be part of the uh, part of the event. Uh, maybe you want to maybe you want to go out and reach out to the community as as we build more community players and and help uh, help musicians uh, get here. You know. Uh, some people need a ride or, 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 or need, need, uh, need some help lugging a, a drum or whatever. Um, and then later, later, as I said, we'll, we'll start to do more things like workshops and, and really do some, some, some real jamming and learn more and more music together. I mean, that, that's really what it's all about is just to engage each other in, uh, in playing and singing and dancing. Uh, Whatever, whatever trips your trigger. You know, this is such a great uh, program. Again, I say that uh, the opportunity for uh, for disabled, challenged people in our community to really re-engage with music that may have been part of their lives at one time, and now for one reason or another, uh, it, it's it's gone kind of beyond their reach a little bit. And you want to be able to reconnect them. And it sounds like you know that's what you're providing is an opportunity to kind of reconnect people who love music. That's exactly it. Yeah. You're, you, you hit it right on the head, Steve. I really want to uh, reach out to musicians that have been hidden in the closet. You know, COVID put us all uh, behind. I, I started this, this program during, during COVID and certainly some, night, some nights we only had 10 people at a show, but gosh, those 10 people and, and me included and the band, we all had a great time, you know, you know, singing oldies, singing brand new songs that we just were creating. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Just just get involved. Um, music again is our is is the one language that we have all over the world that is the same, you know. And whether you can read notes or whether you can just play or whether you can sing or whether you can dance or whether you just want to stand there and jive, we don't care. We just want you to be a, a big part of it. Yeah, I'm not certain that there's any part of our culture that uh, really has the ability to transport us back or into the present or forward that music has. You know, it really does touch us so deeply and connects us with, you know, maybe uh, a different time, uh, maybe a better time, a worse time, but nevertheless, you know, let's just experience that again. And I think uh, one of the things you, you may have experienced, I'm not, uh, disabled or challenged myself, but I can imagine that I, I experienced during COVID what that isolation can be. And to be isolated from the community uh, is something that, uh, that we want to do everything we can to make sure that it's an inclusive community. That's for sure. You know, we're still isolated and, and, and some of us are our own doing. We're just very nervous or concerned and, and being holed up as long as we have some people over two years it really takes a lot for us to get that uh, strength to come out. But but I, I hope I hope they uh, today's uh, program when people watch it and, and hear what you and I are talking about that they say, hey, it's time. You know, bring your trumpet or or uh, or, or grab uh, grab your sticks or just put on your dancing shoes and come and enjoy uh, a good time with people that are just like you in in that. We all share that that beauty of different kinds of music from, you know, from Sinatra to Mozart to, like you said, Ario to, uh, to, to some of this great new stuff, uh, Billie Eilish and that we're, we're trying all kinds of things and we want people to experiment and, and to and to get involved and get engaged. And once again, uh, here see play now .org. People can donate. Uh, a lot of this great work uh, can't really be done in a, in a financial vacuum. We all have to deal with the realities of that. 
uh, volunteers, you know, a little bit of uh, uh, engagement, sweat equity is a wonderful thing for any community member. Um, now, I did look on uh, your website, uh, which is looking very, very good, uh, and, and saw an event uh, the 19th or 20th, and maybe we can talk about that a little bit, because I think that we'll be able to get this particular program perhaps onto our playlist maybe before that happens so people can say, oh my gosh, I can go this weekend to the Veterans Memorial Building and hear something. That's right. We, 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 have, we have a show uh, this Sunday at the, at the VFW Hall uh, on, on 7th Avenue here in Santa Cruz, uh -huh. post 7263. Uh, so come from uh, at 2 o'clock. Uh, we have a food truck, and uh, it's 2 to 5 every, every other Sunday. And we have a phenomenal in, uh, jazz group called Los Improvado Providers, which is an improv jazz group that they play for three hours straight and then they just play in, wow. improvisational jazz music of all kinds some of your favorite stuff from ray charles to uh you know stanley turntine to to many others to some of the uh popular favorite jazz tunes that you hear they might sing a a, a frank sinatra song together with you or whatever but uh it it's a tremendous uh chance for you to get out and 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 take a look at what we do and, and join us. And then every second Sunday, you know, this summer, I, I have a program with uh, just great people. July 3rd, we have two groups. We start at noon. And it, again, we are we have uh, kind of holed up at, at the wonderful uh, VFW Hall there on 7th. And, and we're, we'll be there all day uh, starting at noon, again, with at least one, maybe two food trucks, taco truck, burger truck, et cetera. So, so you can just, and, and just live music the, the, the whole afternoon. And I, I think afternoons are a beautiful time for everybody to just relax and have a great time, just like we did when they had the old ice cream socials back at, in the uh, early 20th century. Well, that's wonderful. And, and another shout out really to uh, great community members, our veterans. As I mentioned earlier, I had the opportunity of co-sponsoring some events downtown at their Veterans more building. Uh, but uh, I'm a homeless shelter coordinator uh, by trade. And so uh, they hosted uh, our shelter for an entire month or so, maybe more, at that wonderful VFW building on 7th. And so, so they are, have been great community members uh, for forever, and it's wonderful to hear that they are, you know, engaged in this particular project. So, uh, another great shout out to the VFW folks over there on Seventh for being part of this wonderful concept and program. That's right, Steve. They're they're, they're a wonderful, wonderful group of people, and that's twenty two fifty nine Seventh Avenue. Yep. You know, there's plenty of free parking. Uh, uh, again, it's an indoor outdoor event. You know, if you still want to wear a mask, wear a mask. If not, come on in and we try and stay uh, a safe distance. You can hear the music outside and in, and of course inside they play at, if, it, if it's uh, not too hot, they'll play inside. If, they, if it's really warm, we'll play outside. We're, we're just there to have a good time. And I, I love this VFW Hall and, and what they have, uh, what they're doing for the community. In, in providing this tremendous uh, event. So every two weeks, please come and uh, uh, hear what we all are about. So again, uh, we're the 19th of this month, uh, which is June, uh, Sunday afternoon, two to five with Los Improvado. Mm -hmm. We have uh, two groups on July 3rd, the day before the 4th. So it's a Sunday, again, noon until five, Again, with food trucks, with uh, with with great great groups, Vernon Vernon and the Ted Welty Band will be there. Uh, uh, just just tremendous time. Then we then we go to a very special uh, two local incredible musicians, singers, songwriters um, um, will be there on the seventeenth. John Michael and Nomad, and they each are doing a set or a set and a half, where they'll they'll mix a half set together. And, and they, uh, they just donate all their time, donate their heart, and, and play their heart out. So go take a look at the website here, cplaynow.org. Yeah. So that's here, H-E-A-R, play, P-L-A-Y, uh, here, cplaynow.org. I'm sorry, I missed C in there. Here, cplay.org. 
now. Here's cplaynow.org. Excuse me. And, yeah, uh, I was going to have a problem. <laughs> oh, brother. You know, uh, Steve, uh, you know, I know that our viewers can uh, can really feel your your passion for this, you know, and uh, that's what uh, makes these programs, I think, uh, so important and, and special in terms of reaching out to a broader spectrum of people who may not realize that this great work is being done in this particular way. And again, the VFW on 7th is a terrific venue, both inside and out. They're great people. And I'm happy to hear that you're having the concerts there, that you're having some food available so that people can go and enjoy an afternoon. And as you and I both know, as music lovers, there's nothing better than to sit on a beautiful afternoon and tap your foot to some beautiful music and just let it carry away. For, for sure. And and the, the last little pitch on the VFW, remember they have they have the best bar in town. <laughs> Anybody oh, yeah. that wants a beer. That wasn't available to our shelter members when we were there, I'll hasten to add, but uh, they are terrific people and hats off to them uh, for really, uh, really being part of this community of, uh, of music and bringing it to people who, who really uh, want to be reconnected as we were talking about to this. Uh, we have about uh, maybe five or six minutes left. Uh, uh, Steve, uh, looking at the kind of where you have been and, and, and and, and where you've come to, uh, what do you see the program and the project uh, doing as we move kind of farther into the future and maybe get a little relaxation from these COVID restrictions and, and are able to get ourselves out in the sunshine and dance together a little? That's great. Sure. So, so, so again, we'll, we'll continue to do the Sunday afternoon programs and I'll reach out to some of my uh, good friends when they, when they're touring in the area, I had the Paulo Boggs band of a few, uh, two months ago when, when she was touring in the area, come and, and, and do a performance in the afternoon. So I'll reach out to more and more great musicians as they start to travel and get come to San Francisco and get them down to the, uh, the coast area and really enjoy it. Also, we're going to do uh, live workshops where again, I'll bring, we'll bring in tremendous uh, instructors, both from the area and from all over the world, from Juilliard, from Burke, uh, the school, School of Music at Berkeley, as well as our, our Berkeley Music School here in San Francisco. And they will be teaching uh, uh, unique uh, abilities so you can really learn something. So, so those of us that, that want new abilities uh, can, can, can work with the best. And, and that's what it's all about, to keep us all equal and to keep us, you know, you know making great music and, and, and enjoying music together. Yeah, it's uh, interesting you say that. It is a, a, a matter of, uh, of, of human dignity and equality and equal access. And, and all that is it has always been historically important, at least to me, it should be. But now to be able to maybe bring some focus on bringing uh, uh, music and reconnecting some folks with challenges and some disabilities back to that. Uh, back to that unique part of, of who we are, our social fabric, I think it is a wonderful, uh, wonderful effort. And uh, it, it sounds like, you know, you're well on your way to really getting the people again reconnected with that. I, I really, I, I hope so. And I can't wait to see you there too, Stephen. And we'll work on your keyboard skills. Remember, for, as a musician side, we look for intermediate and, and professional musicians. We're not a beginner program. Other than to enjoy the music, uh, we're, we're just uh, we're really trying to let musicians that are trying to regrow or build or build or build new skills or just have fun come out and and uh, and, and be part of us. Well, it sounds like everybody is, uh, it's a good time going to be had uh, by all. Now, are you yourself uh, playing or doing any workshops? Are you lending your expertise? I'll, and sounds I'll like, sing you know, and dance, Steve. I, I, I still have got, uh, since my stroke, my left hand and my right hand don't like each other yet. But one of these days, I'll surprise everybody. I'm sure you will. You know, one of the things that I learned uh, when I started playing piano is that there are certain compositions written for just the left hand and, and just the right hand. So it's uh, it, it, the, the world of music is available uh, to all of us. Uh, exactly. We still have uh, two or three minutes. Uh, um, 
tell us a little more about uh, uh, this program in terms of, of, of how you think uh, it's going to be uh, able to really reach out into the disabled community here in Santa so, Cruz. So, yeah, I, I'm grassroots in green, Greenfield, this, this program here in Santa Cruz, but I see that there is a pop possibility that we'll go further in, in, and find some unique uh, other places that we should we should take here see play too. Now, whether that's uh, you know every, once a month or or once a year, but we'll we'll take some uh, we'll, we'll take some soirees and go to some unique places. I did this in Montana for ten years without before I had my disabilities, and I I loved having uh, it was primarily a guitar foundation. I loved having people from New York show up and say, this is Montana. I think that's exactly what they'll see when they come to Santa Cruz or, or we take them to Monterey or, or we, we go to other places together. And that's the key to this is to build this community where we're friends with each other and we get to know each other and we get to trust each other. And uh, all of us can, can perform the way we want to perform. Well, that's wonderful that you uh, you want to expand and reach out. Your musicians and music should maybe always be on the road. Maybe that's a dream that we all have is being you know following that musical path uh, wherever it leads us. Uh, uh, tell us uh, once again, it's uh, here's he play now. Dot org. Uh, they can donate, they can volunteer there. And just briefly again, remind us uh, what you have this week and, and uh, what was coming up just shortly after that. So sure, maybe sure. It'll, it'll squeeze into the program when it's aired soon. Sure. So, so Sunday the 19th, please come out. Uh, we, we've got Los Improvados uh, uh, playing great jazz music and they play nonstop for for three hours and you won't have a better time. They are, they are in love with just playing for people and, and donating their, their musical talent. Yeah. After, after that, we do a, a great uh, July 3rd show. Uh, you know, so the day before the 4th of July, where we got two bands, Vernon Vernon and uh, Ted Welty's uh, band is, are going to play starting at noon. And, and then right after that, J John Michael and Nomad will be there in two, two Sundays after that. So please, Please come and join us this summer and have a have a great Sunday afternoon. Well, but thank you all for just... your, your time and listening to us. And Steve, great to meet you. And I can't wait to meet you on the keyboards. Yeah, you know, I'm looking forward to that uh, myself, Steve. And uh, again, uh, these events are going to be at the VFW on 7th. Uh, and, and thank you for being here and giving us the opportunity at the Volunteer Advisory Committee and, and Community Television of really letting the community know about this great work. It is such a great concept. It is such a wonderful way to reconnect uh, people with music. And if there's any better you know, thing to be doing, particularly uh, in Santa Cruz and, and anywhere really during the summertime, I can't think of it. So Steven Anderson, uh, CEO again of Here's He Play Now, uh, Here's He Play uh, org. Wonderful, wonderful work. Thank you so much. It's been a great pleasure talking to you. And uh, we, will, we will exchange some notes sometime. <laughs> you bet. Hey, Steve, play that funky music like Edgar Winter says. Good luck, guys. Yeah, what a thanks fun again. time. Take care. This has been Steve Fleitch uh, and my timer for the nonprofit spotlight. So join us again next edition when we highlight again another uh, nonprofit uh, in our community doing wonderful, wonderful work like uh, Here's C Play. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. Take care of yourselves. See you next time.